What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Laura. You guys may know her on Instagram as Muscle Bomb Guy. Absolute smoke show. We are going to <laughs> do back today. Um, I'm excited to train with you. We've never trained yes. before. We've never met never before. Never even met before, but I feel like I've known her for so long just through social media. Yes. Matter. Already love her. It's gonna have a great workout. It's gonna be a lot of fun, yes. Is it okay if I'm the say I'm catching feelings? From all the dealings, I might stay. What do you say? How are you feeling? Is it the same? I hope you're not planning to waste my time. To my surprise, that was her reply. Now we vibe. It's been a while and such a ride of stars in line. I love the fact I didn't let her go. She loves the fact that I just let her know. Now it's together, it's a different mode We getting crazy in a different world I love the fact I didn't let her go She knows so fat that I just let her know Now we're together, it's a different mode We getting crazy in a different world She might do or die, my bona fide My up when I'm down, she's always beside me She makes me feel alive, I won't deny Her love for me is real and kind of suicide She's not the same, she's such a rare type She's far from plain, at least in my eyes She said if I cross her, I'll be in the grave Or you under her type, but yeah, that's still my babe so your body has changed so much. Yeah, especially like even just since you signed with Blackstone, and then like over the years, it's right. watching you change. It was like not until I got with PJ, you know, that he was just like, all right, like I don't want you to keep going down this road. Like I want you to stay feminine, and that was my goal. But I never had anyone like hear me out with that. They didn't uh -huh. care. They were just like bigger, bigger, bigger. So I started getting so big and masculine and it's just not what I wanted. Right. So I actually, for a good year, like no arms, maybe once a week, maybe once a month, no back, like no heavy movements. And it actually made me like kind of depressed. Yeah, like I think that would happen to me too. Yeah, because like that's all I knew for 10 years. You know? That's how you knew how to train. Yeah, and take a brush now and from having a bad day, like that's what I would do. And now you're telling me I'm going in there and I can't do that. Right. So, it's been a long road. So what did you train? Legs, all the time. It was like legs at least three days a week. Um, arms, like I said, it was only once a month. Back, I actually stopped doing for like months, completely. Wow. Um, and then just like, chest was very, very light and minimal to keep like my front delts tied in. Shoulders were so light. The workouts like became not even enjoyable or something to look forward to because this isn't hard and heavy. This isn't what I know. This isn't cool, you know? Like You're not getting the aggression out anymore. Right. Or you're doing 30 fucking reps because, mm -hmm. you know, you've got five pound dumbbells in your hand and then people are looking at me like, this girl used to move weight, like just carrying around fives. So it's just like also just a mental thing, like what are people thinking and well, right. long road. And now I'm like actually a lot happier with my look. So mm -hmm. at times I do miss being big and shredded and but I am happy with like the more feminine and being beautiful. You look amazing. Thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> but you're happy. Yeah. Which is what's what yes. what I wanted for such a long that time. That doesn't count. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is what I wanted for a long time. And I have watched kind of just like everything evolve into these girls like going more into that look. Like look at we now have wellness. Right. You know, whereas before that wasn't a thing. So now me transitioning into this, I feel like... Are you was, going to... I'm not going to compete. Okay. But it was nice to see these other girls wanting, like, a bigger lower half and shrinking the upper body. Because I'm like, okay, I'm not alone in this, like, wanting this look. Yeah, yeah. So my arms, I still feel 
are a little big, but I'm happier than like what it was. I used to average like weight from five two be like 160 pounds. Wow. Now I'm in like the mid to high one forty. And you're five. Yeah. You're five tall. foot. What are you? Like five three, five two. Okay. Yeah, I'm five four. And I, I was feel wearing like we're, wedges the other night. Yeah. But yeah, we're pretty close. Yeah. So it was just a um, that's a lot of weight. Yeah. One sixty. You know, yeah. to walk around and you know your health's important and things like that. Mm-hmm. So it's good. It's fun now. Yeah. But you're having fun. Are you having fun again? Yeah, I'm, I'm back into a little bit heavier. I am doing back. I am hitting arms sometimes. Okay. So I do feel better that I can actually do a full body, you know, now okay. instead of just legs okay. all the time. That's really cool. Yeah. Your body's changing, like, amazing. It's just crazy. I have to do, like, a side-by-side. Yeah, side. <laughs> you should. From when I, like, started black. We should. Now. You should get, like, a photo, yeah, from, yeah. like, when you started and, like, just to see the yeah. changes because it is so crazy, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah, and you do look like you do on social media, which also Thank is you very too. Too. Yeah, I know, so. I know, but like where I, oh, yeah. you guys look exactly like Yeah, when, when you walked into dinner last night, I was like, oh my gosh, she looks exactly like she does. That's kind of like my biggest fear, you can probably relate. It's like, if someone sees me, they think I don't look the same, so mm-hmm. but there's like no difference when yeah. I see you in real life, which yeah. is nice. That's a nice thing. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. Chris will say like, oh, that's so-and-so, and I'm like, no way. No. Like, I wouldn't even recognize right, it. Right. Like, he'll go through it and he's like, no. They checked in here, but they don't actually look Right, like right. <laughs> like, I don't understand. I don't see you without this Photoshop. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's nice. Yeah. Looks the same. Yeah. yeah. Videos also help people to know that, too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So your training changed? My training changed, and along with that, my diet changed. So that's where I'm, like, really curious. Yeah. So I got to a point where I was eating 3,500 calories a day, and I was having, like, three cheat meals a week, which would be, like, a burger and fries three times a week just to kind of maintain my physique. At that point, it was just a lot of food. That was when you were 160. Yeah. And I was always strict my whole life. I never really enjoyed different things. Like, people think it's crazy, just like your regular fast food chains. Like, I never even went there. So I never had kind of, like, a balance in my life. Um, And not that you want to go and eat those things all the time, but now I feel like I'm getting to enjoy, like, dinners out, yeah. you know, and things like that that I never really got to do. But as far as my diet now, it's like I'm trying to get in, you know, 25 grams of protein with each meal, right. and then at least 50 grams of carbs. And I'll eat, you know, like four or five times a day. Okay. It just depends how busy my schedule is. Well, that's a lot more carbs than I even eat. Really? Yeah. So now, too, like, business being so busy, with construction, you know, I'm trying to just keep weight on, and I yeah. notice I like, can't gain or I actually lose if I don't maintain that much food. So then how many calories do you think you're eating? I've never day? broken it down, but I assume it's a pretty good amount, you know? And I'm definitely not shy with the cheat meals now. Mm-hmm. So I definitely I feel I'm lucky because I used to just gain weight all the time, not in a good way. And now I feel like I can eat so much have balance and like some cheat meals. The volume that you do in your lifts, even though it's not as much fun as like the short, yeah. heavy weights, it probably helps yes. maintain your metabolism. And I noticed, so I kept my cardio, PJ had my cardio, everything like we're really dialed in with that, making sure I wasn't gaining you uh-huh. know, or getting fat. Kept my cardio, it was like five days a week. Okay. And it was like, you know, 30 minutes. And Which isn't terrible. No, it's really not. And I like my cardio because I can check my emails, I can do what I have to yeah. do. But now I tapered it down to where I'm only doing it like three times a week, two or three times a week, 20, 30 minutes. Wow. And I'm not noticing like my physique being affected by it. Okay. I'm not super shredded right now or anything like that, mm-hmm. but I know it's not going to happen. Right. So it's nice to be able to have the same calorie intake, have cheap meals, less mm-hmm. amount of cardio, and start doing more of the work outside. It's sometimes not being super shredded. Like, I love when my lines are out, don't get me wrong. Right. And that's your hard work. Right. But when we're doing like photo shoots and bikini stuff. Like I feel like it's a little bit of, sexy, I think, yeah, you know, I like, think too many lines are not as sexy. It doesn't look good. When you have that little layer of fat on you and you, look you know, softer. that softer look, it's like you're feminine, you're, you know, and yes. not that if you have that look, you're not beautiful, you are, but. It's just different. You your own, but for us, when we shoot, it's definitely a nicer look. Yeah. You know, you're not like super hard in the face. 
know, you're out there in a bikini you want to look sexy, and then you've got like this hard face, yeah. and these lines, <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, right, right, right. So. But I like when my hair is like down and like long, because I'm always like, when we go out to dinner, I'm always like, all right, I gotta hide like my traps. Right, because right. Because they, they just, there's yeah. nothing I can do about yeah. them, they are there. They're so that was, for me, I used to always be heavy shrugs, mm -hmm. like crazy with the traps, and then I saw a photo of me and Ness out to eat one day. And I was like, oh my god, my traps, my shoulders, my arms look so big. That was like one of the biggest reasons I started to see myself in photos. I did not like it. Right. So that was like me taking that step at that point. Like, okay, I don't want to get bigger. You know, you don't want to feel like you're in a dress and you don't like how you look. It's so crazy, like, when you think about that, the look. Right. And so many people will look at you like jacked, like jacked yeah. out of your mind. And it's like, wow, that's amazing. Right. That's hard work. Meanwhile, you're sitting there thinking, I'm too jacked, or right. I'm trying to hide my muscles, or whatever. It's like such a body dysmorphia. Yeah. Because yeah. everyone else that. wants what they can't have, too, you know? Yeah. So they want that jacked look, and then, you know, like, us, you get it. We're like, okay, now I want a softer look. Yeah. Hard because I can't do CrossFit the way that I was. Mm -hmm. And it, like, mentally, like, it messes with messes my head. Up. But then it's like, well, where, where do you go from here? You know, like I can't train the way I was, so I have to change it up. Right. And then you kind of feel, you feel empty. It, it does. It, it leaves like an empty spot mm -hmm. in you. And I felt, I felt like a pastor over it, you know? Yeah. Like, I just wanted to, I felt like I didn't know who I was anymore. Right. Because I built myself off of the hard and heavy, and it's like, now I can't do that anymore. Right. And now that I can, I'm like, same thing like you, injury my neck. Mm -hmm. I have multiple issues with bulging this now, like right on the verge. So anything I can do, even right down to sleeping right now, can make it worse. And they don't want to do surgery because they're like, you're too young. Right. So I did get a cortisone shot in April, and it's been amazing. So I just wanted to get a long time to last. Right. Obviously you can't do too many of those. No, you would definitely limit it because it does break down the cartilage. Like, no, the right part, yeah, so. Yeah. But I've dealt with just excruciating pain for two years now. Oh, wow. And it was just constant. Like, if you were around me a lot, you'd always see me, like, tweaking my neck, massaging mm -hmm. myself. Then I'd go and get massage and make it worse. I'm in therapy and make it worse. Yeah. So, went and got everything checked out. I'm like, it's just not something that's right. Yeah. And it was, like, all these different deaths, all these problems. Oh, wow. And it's right where I sit that barbell. Oh, okay. You know, so now. So did that contribute to your changes? Or that yeah, a little bit. Thing? I haven't been doing those heavy squats or heavy deadlifts. Uh -huh. Because when they tell you, like, you can sleep on this wrong and it pushes the disc out even more, it's like, that was all right. That for sure. You know, so now yeah. I'm doing these these squats with, like, minimal weight and repping it out. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I want to put a couple of plates yeah. on here. Like, High volume like squats and deadlifts is something oh, I want to have nothing God. to do with. Like, this is Give me like a, a one to like yeah. five rep max so or good. I'm like, like, I'm like well, what if I just put one plate? She's like, can you please one Smith? I'm like, no. <laughs> but I, you know, I try not to push the limits, but we're only human. Like, you yeah. want to you want to push it. And it makes you happy too. Just such a nice feeling that heavy ball. Yeah. They always want quick tips. And Everybody tricks. wants like, quick tips. You're checking out at the supermarket and they're like, you look great. Tell me quick, quick, quick. Like, how did you get like this? And I'm like, there's not enough time right now for me to just quickly tell you yeah. how to get from that like A to B, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, do you have a break that's three hours long? We can go over there. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to sit down over coffee. Right. All right, friends are like, Oh, I just, I want to have abs by July. I'm like, you know, we're already like into June, right? Like, just tell me quick, 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 what do I eat? And then people will constantly, I don't know, a lot you probably hear, they like revert to eating nothing. Yes. Or very minimal. And I said, that's how, you know, I feel like you get skinny fat. You actually damage your metabolism not yep. eating. That's you always been my biggest weight. problem. Yep. A lot of clients I get, that's where we're at. We need to repair the metabolism, yep. you know? So eat your food, eat it. Yeah. Or if it's 8 o'clock, you can't eat. You're gonna be up for a while and you're hungry, you have that meal, you feed your body, something good, don't go have McDonald's. Right. right. So I get I get that all. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with um with eating because I was anorexic like before I got pregnant, before my daughter, and couldn't get pregnant because of it. But I was in a it was like right when like the high protein diet, like the fad came out, like we're talking like 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. And 
I was doing high protein, but I didn't know anything about diet. So I was just like, oh, high protein. And then I had like minimal carbs. Okay. I would have like vegetables and, like, in my no car. And like no fats, I assume. No fats. Yeah. I would no catch energy. a fruit, forget it, because of the sugar. Oh, yeah. So I like, I ruined my metabolism. And even now, like I still have, when I'm eating, I'm like, oh. Nervous. What am I doing to myself? But my metabolism does not work. Like right. most people's metabolism works. Right. But I'm still in my head. Damn like, Am I eating too much? I'm eating too much, and I love it. Some day I'll be for a long, long time. Yeah. And I don't like your pregnant. Yeah. Just go back and forth. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. Yeah, yeah. It's like I can coach people out of it, but I can't coach myself out of it of because it's my own mental. Right. You can relate. Give them the best advice. Yeah. But personally, like. Yeah. You can't coach yourself. No, I, I always that. had like um, never had anything like that. But I got to a point where. I was, so I started at 16 and I was always lost for a while and it wasn't until, like I said, these past two years where I've allowed myself, and it's fucking crazy, it's a long time, but now, like, to have cheat meals, to go out to dinner, to enjoy a holiday, so going that long, I noticed anytime I was given a cheat meal, I would eat until I was fucking sick, like, just not good, and every time I do it, you know, I crawl in bed and I'm like, I couldn't even, like, lay on my stomach, like, it hurt, you're, you're and I'm like, Laura, remember this feeling and don't do this next time. Like, you know? Yeah. Next time I'll come and I'm doing it again. And I created such a bad relationship with food at that yeah. point. So I'm like, I don't know when I'm going to get to eat this again. Mm-hmm. I tell people all the time to don't reward yourself with food. Right. Go shopping, yeah. buy yourself those yeah. new skinny jeans That's you always want. But don't make food a response to right. good behavior. Like, you did good, great. Like, no, yeah. you're not inclined there are other to. Ways to you're not yourself. always going to get that cheat meal. Yeah. You don't always need it, but I created such a bad relationship with that. Yeah. And it took a very long time, and I know a lot of people struggle with that, but I'm finally like, I don't feel that way. I'm like, mm-hmm. if I don't finish my plate, I'm like, it's fine. You can eat again yeah. soon. Like, this yeah. is going to be the last time. Right. But it was really tough to, to get to that. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people get like that. Especially and then when <laughs> With the glycolog, I feel like everybody's like, but I took my glycolog. Oh, my God, it's not like, No, it's, it's not. It's great, but yeah. it's not what it's for. You can't just eat donuts all day and then take that. Like, you know? Well, competing definitely didn't help. Being in, like, that strict lifestyle for so right. long. But. Because you train yourself, and it's all you know. Right. Since I was a little girl. Even my mom did bodybuilding. You know? Oh, wow. So it's like, it's falling out. Yeah, it's like body dysmorphia. It, it, we all have it. They think because you know you're in shape, you know they think that we don't have those issues or mm-hmm. look at ourselves differently, and we do. We look at ourselves harder. Yeah. Yeah. Or they say like, you know, someone's unhappy with how they look, and then you chime in with something that you're not happy with, and they're like, oh, shut up. Yeah. And it's like, hey, like. Yeah, we all have. We all feel it. Maybe I'm in a better, you know, shape, but. I still have things yeah. I want to work on and don't shun me for that or make me feel bad for that. Yeah. So that's, I think that's real common. So now I just kind of like keep my mouth shut, yeah. you know. But we're allowed to feel that. Yeah. And if not, we wouldn't keep. It also, down. like, I think it's okay to have something that you want to achieve. Right. Whether how big or how small it is, because it keeps you motivated and focused. Right. If we were completely happy with our bodies, we'd be like, right. Yeah, we wouldn't be eating yeah, that too much. I'm done here. You yeah. know? But at the end of the day, we know that we can't be perfect. Right. As much as we want to be. And as long as you can try and create a healthy balance with yeah. everything. I think that's where people get lost. And the balance yeah. is so important. Yeah. And you do have to be happy and like live your life. Right. You only get one chance at this. Yeah. Especially my lifestyle clients. Mm-hmm. I'm like, please also enjoy... You know, if you're a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a white husband, whatever, friends, family. Yeah. Don't cut all that out, yeah. you know? Or, or if you want, bring your meal with you and still have that holiday or that mm-hmm. birthday with them, but don't isolate yourself, right. you don't know? Don't punish it. I did that. Yeah. It was like the worst. Yeah, they were it. Yeah. I go everywhere with chicken and green beans and Ziploc bags. Mm-hmm. You know, we're at the beach and I'm pulling out chicken in a bag, like, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. But I don't regret it, but. <laughs> right. All right, guys, this is a little bit different, um, a different style of video than I think that we've filmed before in the gym. I think we, I think we had some real chats here, yeah, real We talk. did, we definitely did. I think a lot of things that, and we hope that you guys can relate to, and I feel just very calm and in 
maybe it's not talked about enough. So you can engage a little bit with Kristen on her channel and just have you been through that. You know, do you agree, disagree, and just let her know how you're feeling with it. We hope that we were relatable and helped out a little bit. Yeah, and definitely put comments below if you've dealt with any of this. Um, me and Laura will go through them and go through the comments yeah. and if we can offer any kind of advice, we will. Definitely. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.